Today we are in a fierce competition picking out EDC guns for construction worker, the 7-Eleven cashier, financial planner, the truck driver, OnlyFans model. Now the rules are simple. Chris and I will each pick out a gun here at the shop. That means not every single gun ever made everyone is here at the shop. So just keep that in mind. So we're each gonna pick out a gun and then we will pick a random person in the shop and they have to vote for a winner. Get in the comments below, tell us who won and tell us what you would have picked. Okay, construction worker, here we go. Go over there. It's gotta be hardy, gotta be thick, gotta be strong. Gotta stand up to some abuse from the weather, right? Cause they're always outside. I have an idea potentially, but it just seems like a layup. So we're gonna try to spice it up a little bit. Here's the deal. A construction worker has a rugged lifestyle. Oh, got it. The direction I'm going right now is, you know who else has a rugged lifestyle? A Navy SEAL. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And the Navy SEALs carried the SIG 226, my friend. So the premise is to not like plan this ahead of time. He's already planned and picked way before because he doesn't follow the rules, so. Water, because construction workers get rain done. It might fall from like a 12 story building or something. I don't think I need to go anywhere else. I think I found my home right here. Okay. Sig 226, done. I'm camping out. I th well, I think that this this guy's been working on the job for a little bit. He's managing a crew, not so much in the trenches. So you can probably get something a little, a little more up there, right? Some coachy wheel guns. That looks yeah. like, you know, some maybe someone in construction would like that. Take your time. It's not like I'm waiting on you. It's not like I made my pick really fucking fast or anything. Literally just checking DMs, checking Tinder and shit. Checking Tinder. Checking Tinder. Yeah, yeah. Just check Tinder. I don't know. It's Friday night. I don't know. Let's see what we get into. I was talking to the OnlyFans model that we're going to talk about. I wish. Well, we got like you know Smith and Wesson Governor. We got like a FNX 45 might be a good option. Maybe some CZ stuff, I don't know. We got some Lago Aliens. Might have to put that in my back pocket for another another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna linger. I'm gonna linger by the cheap gun challenge. Oh wow, that's nice. Make them think I'm gonna take a bursa or something. Incredible value. <laughs> Stupid. Just honey dick them, they'll never see it coming. Just looking up one, one little bit of info real quick. I think I'm good, Jake. I think yep. you're about to get destroyed. You know what that is? I see we're messing around at my waist here, but you guys see this? You guys see this it's thing a right belt. here? Yeah, Specifically right a Segarra belt. Specifically the inner light Velcro belt. Right? Yeah, I'm about it. What does that afford you? Um, uh, mo mobility, uh, high kicks. Key. If Key I was gonna go ice skating, uh, I could do that. Same belt. I could do absolutely anything in it. Battle wagon, more so for battle. You know? That layers right on top. It's yeah. a two layer system. One works with the other. Our code 1911 syndicate saves you 10% off. Check it out. Uh, they got a bunch of other cool stuff too. Bunch of new product releases. We covered it on our uh, sort of guide to all the gear that we carry. So you guys can go deep dive into that and hear about a bunch of the new stuff. But check it out. Thanks to them. Moving on. Okay, so here's the, we're picking out EDC guns for a construction worker. Okay. Hmm. We're going to both present you with our findings, yep. what we believe is best. And then you pick a winner. Pretty simple bit. Absolutely. You want to rock and roll? Oh, you can go ahead. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. You ever heard of the Navy? <laughs> I'd hope so. <laughs> you ever heard of Navy SEALs? Yeah, they bounce balls. This is basically okay. what a Navy SEAL would take, but manlier, okay? Because it's in 45. This is a SIG P220. You ever heard of these? I have. Yeah. yeah. This is a Legion version, Ooh, okay? Because the reality is these days, construction workers actually make pretty good money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do actually. Like they make some pretty yeah. good coin. So the Legion version of this upgraded, we don't state prices on this, it's unnecessary, mm -hmm. but it's like, hey, this is an upgraded pistol. Robust as hell. I'm doing construction, I'm out on the beams, you know, whatever the, the scaffolding, um, and I'm doing work, starts raining. Do you think I'm worried? Probably not. Not really, because it goes in ocean dives with a bunch of seals. Mm. So I don't care what happens to this. Does it maybe fall off of a 12-story building? Potentially. Am I worried? Absolutely not. It's a SIG. Nothing's ever went wrong with a SIG product before. And because this is M45, you could absolutely shoot and blow any living organism through a wall. A lot of bullets. Okay. Upgraded. SIG 220. Best gun a construction worker could ever have. Huh, it's a bold move there. So we're just getting into it? You're just ready to lose? Cool. So forget everything he said about that. Oh, okay. Construction workers, you've worked at a construction site, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I have also. He has not, so he doesn't know what it's like. I do a lot of manual labor. Hands. 
I went with the Smith & Wesson governor, okay? Why? Why might you ask? Because on construction sites, pigeons usually become a problem. Oh, what absolutely. can this shoot? Do you know 410 birdshot, right? Little pigeons getting in your way while you're trying to weld some shit. Mm -hmm. Shoot them, right? Easy. Yeah, also on illegal. The illegal also. Absolutely not. No, 100%. Pest management. It's a license. Yeah. Construction workers do it all the time. They have that license. Yeah. You Again, you've never worked construction, so he doesn't know. This also can shoot, what else? 45 long colt, right? So remember his argument about 45? Mm -hmm. Blowing it through a wall? Mm -hmm. 45 long colt blows someone through multiple walls. See where I'm going with this? Oh, absolutely. And I think, if I remember correctly, this shoots 45 ACP. So you get a little variation. How many bullets? Basically, a hard use old? tool that fits multiple things, right? Mm -hmm. Guys that work construction don't buy a tool that only does one job. They need a tool that does multiple things. It's a construction site. Mm -hmm. Gun can do multiple things. Pest control, human pest control, and just overall cool. It's pretty easy. Coolness is is definitely uh, an interesting way, way to talk about way that. Way cooler. Navy SEAL pest control man. Okay. I want you to keep that in mind. Oh, absolutely. book deals and movies, men that build this country. Okay, harsh. Whew. A little bit accurate, but harsh. Oh, and <laughs> hair products. Hair products as well. So, my bad about that. Men who build this country. Mm -hmm. Right? Just keep that in mind. The time has come. Don't be influenced by... It doesn't matter what you prefer. It matters what is the right gun for a construction worker. Well, based on what we're looking at here, you know, working in the colder days, you're going to be wearing a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. Revolvers kind of get... They roll with the clothing, but the problem is, is when you're trying to pull something out, they kind of become a little of a hassle. Right. Never pull out. Exactly. We stay in here. I'm just going to go with the SIG. Yes. It's really hard to go away. I, even though I love a good revolver, if it was a J-Frame Model 60, I think we would have won. Clean. But Clean that was your own personal bias? No, that was based on uh, that sounds like personal bias. Snag hazards. You're supposed to choose for a construction worker. Oh. He did. He stayed as in his as as This didn't fit your bill. It didn't work. He was a construction worker. Uh, clearly not, because he would have picked that. <laughs> uh, no Moving concrete on. guy I know picks a SIG. <laughs> That's 1 0, round two. Perhaps the most interesting one we've done in the series yet the 7 Eleven cashier. Let's get after it. Okay. Who is a 7-Eleven cashier? A 7-Eleven cashier is like the most dangerous job in America. Statistically, probably. I have no facts to back that up, but that's got to be the most dangerous job in America. So you have a decent likelihood of winding up in a shooting. At the very least, you have to do a display of force. If you look like a fucking pussy and you're a 7-Eleven cashier, they're taking all your money, your coffee, your big gulps, all of it. So even if you don't know how to shoot the gun, the gun has to be intimidating. What kind of person works at 7-Eleven, Chris? What kind of person works at 7-Eleven? Someone who wants to serve their community. They're not worried about making money. They want to just serve and make their community better. Someone's robbing a 7-Eleven. What do they get away with? Condoms. <laughs> That's what they rob a 7-Eleven for? If you rob a 7-Eleven, you're looking for condoms. Caffeine pills. Yeah. That's it. That's all you're going to get. Do those pair nicely together? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that for sure, but yeah. I'm thinking I have to go with a wheel gun again. You know, our, uh, our 7-Eleven worker, Apu, he grew up watching old Westerns, you know? So he clearly wants an old Western gun once he came to the States, opened up his 7-Eleven. I think that's more fitting his style. So it's a little homage to his childhood growing up watching old Westerns. Two tubes. Okay, two tubes. Load back here. That's what I'm talking about. That doesn't look like a handgun. Is there anything in this rule set that talks about it being a handgun? It says EDC, I work at a 7-Eleven. I need some shit for a 7-Eleven. <laughs> you wanna rob my 7-Eleven? Someone was robbing a 7-Eleven, what would they hope to steal? Tobacco, big gulps, and then the roller hot dogs. Three essential food groups. You wanna rob my 7-Eleven? I got like 16 rounds of 12 gauge here. Have fun. This is the best thing I've ever found. <sighs> Just so, so difficult. A DP-12. I've never even heard of this. Made in Connecticut, the Northeast. We all know they love and make excellent guns up in the Northeast. They're known for it. I think, uh... yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I'm all set here. All right, I think I'm good. I'm good to go. Okay, so judging on best EDC gun, 
which can you can make that mean whatever you want sure. for a 7-Eleven cashier. You'll go first this time. I went first last cool. time. So the 7-Elevens where I grew up, they're in like a glass bulletproof encased box, right? They can really only shoot out of it. They can't shoot in a little rougher neighborhood. Sure. Right? Hmm. So sure. the EDC can take a different take when you put it in that context. Yeah. So there's a, a tan shotgun right, right up there. Yep. Yep, yep. So the guys where I grew up in the 7-Elevens, I mean, they're in a box. They can only shoot out, right? It's a big enough box to shoulder this. It's okay. not like a small I don't understand how you box. could shoot out but not shoot in, yeah. Oh, it's just one way glass. There's a film on it. It's science. Don't worry about it. Okay. So New be- technology. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So because of that, he's not moving around and really walking around, doesn't really need to conceal it. He needs to every day carry it and have effective ammunition. We can run birdshot, buckshot, and slug. Three different rounds, three different jobs. Use your imagination of how that applies in a 7-Eleven. Mm. That's my pick. All right. Well, I present my pick now. Okay. And then you okay, can let's see yours. <sighs> Allow me to present you with the best. Did, did you just pick that because I picked a shotgun? Allow me to present you with the best goddamn weapon oh. a 7 Eleven cashier could ever get. This is known as the DP 12. I already knew that. I didn't have to look at the stock, <laughs> right? Here's the deal probably the most dangerous job in America. And that's science. If you want to talk about science, that's science. Okay. Even if you don't wind up in a shootout, you know what is a guarantee? Is that you're going to need to intimidate a perpetrator and prevent yourself from being robbed. So scare them. Correct. Wow. Scare them. self-defense plan. And if you need to, lay it the fuck down. Okay? Yeah. How many rounds does that hold? How many does it? Six. Uh, Five and one. I think it's I think it's actually seven or eight. Are they seven? This is one? an extended tube mm-hmm. that ships from factory. Mm-hmm. Interesting, okay. but you know what I've got? Dos tubes. Since you grew up in Phoenix, I got <laughs> dos tubes. Dos. That means two. So I have double the capacity. Double the pleasure, double the fun. There, boys. Right? <laughs> oh, jeez. So someone ever look me in the eye and say that. Someone again. comes yeah. into my Seven Eleven, and they're gonna do some shit. There's no one over here. Okay, everything's safe no, yeah. over here. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand here like this. So don't aim is what he's saying. Okay, so I, I have some logistics questions well, well, for you, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, help yourself. So everyday carry, does this mean like I have a sling on? Do I have like a bandolier with shells? I'm a cashier, I'm behind the cashier, dog. Okay, so yeah. does it just stay behind the counter? Can yep. I like whip it out? You sure have it wherever you want. Yeah. Okay, because in my opinion, these aren't half bad. <laughs> They're not. They're not, I, I you know. If I was behind a uh, you know a Seven Eleven counter, you're you're dealing with some crazy shit. And you get, you know, there's nothing. Yeah, it's like old saloon style. But this, because this, if this is think about the intimidation I like factor. Where your head's at. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind either of them. Yeah. Um, I I prefer Beretta over a cheap Turkish double barrel shotgun. The, the, Turkish, you're make, the Turkish make a lot of nice stuff. You're American and 7-Eleven's American. It's possible. Um, this is Italian, not American. But I prefer no. the, I prefer Italian. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But think about the wow factor of this. Not I mean, they're both Not in my 7-Eleven. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> But like you're pulling out the shotgun at the very end when things are starting to pop off. Yeah. Sure. You know. This sure. one reminds you of an old West saloon hung up in the back. Yeah. That's, it just says, I, I, "Don't mess around here." I'm sorry, brother. I, yeah. I just. I'm, are you taking that? I'm taking this guy. Yeah. This is. This is me. We did not plan on both choosing shotguns either. That was a pleasant surprise. Look, I'm going to admit this. We actually both had innovative, unique picks on this. Look, I was going to go a different route, and I even told the camera something, and I was like, no, not in the 7-Eleven I grew up in. They need a shotgun, dude. Yeah. So. This is pretty badass, though. I might just buy this just for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's the 7-Eleven employee? He's a casual gamer. He, he likes guns. He knows his guns, but, you know, he has to work the day job to support the the rig he has at home, and he chose the the Beretta 1301 tack that he that he keeps behind the counter. He's trying to work on becoming part owner of that 7-Eleven, so he's he's cool with the owner. You know what yeah. I mean? So he can have the shotgun behind the behind the counter. Dude, he fit exactly what I saw in my head. Up next, we're one on one right now. Okay, yep. so we're Tied. going to tiebreaker around here. We are looking at the financial planner. Who's a financial planner? He's someone that doesn't have a lot of variety in his life because it's just numbers, right? 
zeros and ones. Uh, he wants to add a little spice to his life. He wears the same suit, the same cut, the same shirt, the same haircut for the last 40 years, right? So he wants to have something that has a little personality in it. So we're looking for a gun with a little bit of personality. They probably either work with some rich folks or some folks that are super broke, but they're trying to be rich folks. A financial planner needs to put on an air of success because they need your money, right? They gotta get your money from you. So you need to know that they're successful, but they teach you to be frugal with your money. So they actually wouldn't wanna flex, but so hard on people because that would show that they're being irresponsible with their money. I think I got the answer. Chris, what state does your financial planner live in? Phoenix, of course. Huh. Where else? It'd be Phoenix, Arizona. Not Scottsdale. So, well, I was meaning greater Phoenix area. If it were to be like a nicer portion of Phoenix, then yeah, Scottsdale. But our guy wants a little land, so he's in the somewhat similar area called Cave Creek, where you can get some land and it's nice. So that's where he's at. That's where he's gonna stay. <laughs> Pretty sure I got my choice. Jake, show me a gun that's the exact opposite that you'd expect a financial planner to buy. The opposite of what they would get? Yeah. Hmm. A financial planner would never carry this hawk of shit. This Cerakoted, worn, basically stock Glock with fancy rustic colors. They would never carry that. There's nothing classy about it. It makes me want to vomit looking <laughs> at it. The paint job looks like an unnecessary cost. Yes, it looks like like a absolutely like a street sign has been shot up or something. <laughs> like a financial planner should not carry that if they want to get business. I feel pretty good about this one. Chris, show me the exact opposite gun that you'd expect a financial planner to buy. <laughs> exact opposite. Probably be like the FN 5.7 there. Simply because it's a small bullet, not a lot of power. This guy wants to equate big bullet means he's big and he's powerful, makes a lot of money. See, he's the type of financial planner that wants to flex a little bit because he wants to show his clients how wealthy he is because if he's buying nice stuff, right? See the correlation there? So that's definitely not a gun he would want. Here we go, best um, EDC gun for a financial planner this time, okay? A lot of considerations as a financial planner. You went first last time, so I guess- Yeah, I go ahead, I'm, yeah. I'm going, okay. So here's the deal. Beretta 92 GTS, here's why. So a, so, Think about a financial planner. No, it's it's a dexterity thing. Everyone relax, okay? So here's the deal. Financial planner needs to put off an air of success. Frankly, they're not very likely to actually wind up in a shooting or anything. They don't carry cash. They're not a 7-Eleven cashier. They don't have cash on them. It's like, no, 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 that's all in investment funds and things like that. So they're really not likely to get like knocked over on the street or something like that. But they need to put off an air of success, but not flashy because that would imply that they're not also being smart and frugal with their money. So they need an elevated carry gun. Stock block would be like a stupid, right? Because it's like, well, no, I need to look successful, but I also need to look kind of frugal, like I'm not trying too hard. 92 GTS screams like, hey, I'm doing okay, but I don't need to yell about it, right? Because there's nothing more classy than wood grips, right? The fresh smell of mahogany in the morning, you wake up, right? You give it a little Jeez. smell, mm. right? Don't sell that. Oh, absolutely, right? You've got good capacity. The two-tone thing with the wood. I actually tried to get one of these earlier today. That's a true story, my friend. I got denied mm. by Beretta. <laughs> From Beretta. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to get. We want Making me here. feel a little bit better inside now. Like, well, okay. we can't get one. I'm like, well, they got one right here. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how much I believe it. So this just screams everything that I wanted to scream. It's just like a little bit of success, not too flashy. That's a fuck you pistol right there. That's a great pick is what that is. Mm. So tell me this, would you like a financial planner that's like, hey, I'm gonna help you make money, keep your money, but also I like to spend money, mm. right? Yeah, I want, I want to help home. you, help me help you make enough money to buy the fun toys that we want. Mm. That frugal thing, that's for poor people, right? <laughs> I want a financial planner that's like, hey, we're gonna make you enough money that we can blow a lot of money also. Mm -hmm. So he's a flashy financial planner, mm. Ferrari, maybe an Audi, Probably a BMW. Oh, he's an asshole. Reason why is Q5 match. He wants to be flashy. When you're sitting filling out paperwork, what looks more flashy on the counter? This with the finish on it or that weird three-tone wood gun? 
Are we flashing guns now? Right? I mean, I'm just saying, mm. right? Wait, he's flashing his clients? <laughs> Seems like a weird move to try no. to pick up new business. This is clearly going to be on his desk. That's why he needs it to look a certain Which way. Which is why it mm. looks classy. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I can't. So okay. he wants the wood it desk on matches his the grips. So you see, hey, I have flashy things on my desk, and I'm a gun guy, so don't mess with me. Hmm. But I want you to get flashy things like my gun in my car. That screams hmm. not a gun guy. See what I'm saying? I kind of feel that. Yeah. I rest my case. Best CDC gun for a financial planner. What would you value? Honesty, you know, what you like to carry. Not like what you want, but like what you want to carry, what you prefer. That's kind of the thing. It's like you can go big flashy and all that, but is that what you actually like carrying? Do you feel comfortable yeah. with that? Or in a match gun? Huh? And like, I'm a big fan of Walther, I gotta admit, but I would feel bad carrying the, Q, the Walther Q5. Mm. But he carries a leather holster and a suit. That's just so stupid. That's so right? stupid. Well, leather and power gun, power steering, power suit. See? Leather holster in this though. Eh, I'm, no, gonna, I'm gonna go with Beretta sadly on this one. I, I wish I could. You had me with Walther and you lost me at Q5 match. I love Q5 matches, but, that's but it's not your a carry bias, gun. Not a no, 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 no. Oh. Your hat says finance and maneuver. Those Absolutely. guys are known for what? Flashiness. Yeah. Gotta be flashy. Uh, that in the right way. You're wearing, you're wearing a hat in the right way. That is obnoxious. That's obnoxious. Look, the FM dudes would never rock that. They would rock this. Who cares? I don't know who these guys are. What's the difference? Beretta, 2-1. I'm up 2-1. Daddy's up 2-1. Okay, guys, we'll be back with the video momentarily. Getting heated. Getting freaking heated in here, man. And it's only going to get... Wait till we get around to the OnlyFans, uh, or the OF. OF. Uh, the Sorry. OF uh, Sorry. challenge here. Um, but anyway, uh, other sponsor for the video here is Wolven. They carry stuff like we... You know, given that we're not shooting right now, I could actually throw in a, 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 a nice watch. So, uh, you know, they carry IWC and... And Panerai and yep. um, a bunch of the high-end brands, big Rolex dealer, all that kind of stuff. Check them out. Um, they're down in DFW, but they can ship all over the country. I think it comes with a couple year warranty. Yep. Um, check it out. Like I said, we'll have them linked down in the video description. Appreciate that. And then if you guys ever need real estate help, let us know. 1911 Syndicate. We'll have that link down below. It's not a lot of links. Almost too many. I almost get tired of saying this. Sometimes. So do I. But the last um, one is the Patreon. Yeah. If you want to just throw cash at us, maybe get access to classes throughout the year that are host, well, we host them, but legit instructors come yeah. in, right? Patreon's the way to do it. Yeah, check it out. All right, back on with the video. Round number four is the truck driver. Great American pastime, truck driver. Also very tricky. What does a truck driver value? They're on the road a lot, they're mobile. I don't know, I'm drawing a blank here. This, this one could be uh, interesting. You ever thought about becoming a truck driver, Chris? I legitimately, this I'm not making this up, thought about getting my CDL for when I first got home from my mission and just driving for a couple years because you can make really good money and just live in the truck. Not a lot of expenses, see the country. No joke, it's something I considered, but thank goodness I got married. <laughs> what did you plan on carrying? Just back then it would have been a Glock 19. Taking my bias out of it. Yeah, because right? it's boxy, right? Box truck, boxy gun. Boxy guy. I mean, they deal in a lot of boxes. You know, that is their job, boxes. So it's only fitting to get a gun that reminds them of boxes. Amazon delivery driver, boxes. Yeah, what color are the boxes they usually use? Brown. Reason I went with a Glock 19X here is doesn't it look like a brown box? Boxes, boxes. You said this reminds you of a box, He right? picked a gun based on the color of cardboard. Okay, truck driver. They're in their vehicle a ton. They're crossing state lines. They don't have any passengers in their vehicle, so. I'm saying, given given all of the truck stops, which, you know, dicey things happen at truck stops. If I were them, I want something robust and I want something suppressed. I want something suppressed so I don't wake up the entire truck parking lot at night if some shit pops off. I'm feeling HK USP tactical. Tell us what Chris Solid just picked. Dan Wesson Valor. Why are you going with Dan and Wesson? So, more the model of the gun. It just screams America. Truck drivers are the lifeblood of America. It just works. Like it just, it's like apple pie and uh, what do you eat apple pie with? Oh, okay, cool, that. Peanut butter and honey, better analogy? No? I messed up on that, I messed up on that. <laughs> Hey, look who's back. Oh, can we steal you? Today? Yeah, or no. 
we need you to, to be, be a judge. judge. I actually want you for the final yeah, yeah, yeah. judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is round four. Round five is actually where I want you because it's the best category. Okay, so here's the deal. So we're picking out EDC guns for various occupations. You're huge, by the way. I, I just am. realized that as I got next to you. I heard you're, you didn't stand close the first time around. Yeah, no, I was at a distance. I was like, oh, he's a big guy. But now here it's like six foot ten. Fucking yeah. bear. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Um, it's a good size. Excuse me. We're picking out EDC guns for different occupations. The occupation in question, we both picked out what we believe to be the best EDC gun for a truck driver. Okay. What age? Oh, that's a important very fascinating question. Uh, important question. Given what I'm looking at on my counter, that is an important question. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's, what's, already... what's the median <laughs> age? 35? Oh, see, he doesn't even know. We know the lifeblood of America is truck drivers. Oh, yeah, definitely. The mean age is about 45 to 50. They're getting a little bit older. Kids are out of college right nice. now, but they yeah, are okay. looking at the sunset years. Okay. okay. So take that into context. You okay. could call them like the wagon drivers of the old west brought to the 21st century, right? All right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, go ahead. Present okay, so that just makes my case a little bit easier. Not because I planned it that way. Certainly not. But America's caliber, 45. Mm -hmm. As well as who's God's, God's caliber. Mm. Right? America's pistol, if you will. Two world wars, 1911. Sure. You see where I'm going with this? I do. America's a theme. See that single stack as well. Dan Wesson, single stack, 45 ACP Valor. Okay? All right. Classy. In fact, you know what? I don't even think I need to say anymore. Just this fits a truck driver. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my argument. I can I can absolutely yeah. see a truck driver shooting that. Yes. Yep. Okay. Interesting. You just want to tap out or? No. I, I'll oh. Go ahead okay. And, I'll, I'll, I'll go jump ahead. in. Okay. So, <clears throat> do you like H HK pistols at all? Uh, yes. When informed by police that I should put my alarm company's sticker in my window. I put an HK sticker in my front window instead because I felt it was a more accurate representation of what awaited anyone who broke in. My friend, Damn, this is a that was a good story. This is a USP tactical, and I that know. was so well put. Do you have one of these? I do not, but I'm familiar. Okay, this is a great gun. It is. This is a really great gun. It's heavy, but it's great. It is heavy. You know, I've got a Mark 23, even heavier. Worse, yes. You know, it's a, or better, better in its own yeah, way. Yeah, of course. But here's the deal, both 45. A lot more bullets. Holy cow. And truck drivers, the, the, the backbone of America, is that what, what we're calling them? I doesn't even know. The lifeblood the of life America. The lifeblood of the, the, pipe, the pipeline exclusive. of America. Say backbone would be military. But here's the deal. They do, okay. yeah. they do go to some sketchy places, right? And they're going to wind up sleeping in their truck sometimes where it's like, look, from a statistical level, they're probably more likely than your average person to wind up in some shit, right? So, which means I would like to have capacity on my side. I don't mind having 45. The the good news is I have a lot more 45 bullets than you do in that. And as a Ooh. 1911 enthusiast, I'm a 1911 and an HK guy. 1911 will require more maintenance, more oil, more TLC to keep them running. Like his truck, which he enjoys because he loves it. This requires like nothing to keep running. And I have the added benefit because the suppressor is an NFA item where the state lines thing doesn't apply. I can keep a can on this on the passenger seat in my, my 16 wheeler, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. this is pretty damn robust. You'll never kill it. It's basically the best gun a truck driver can have. You know have. the two things these guns have in common, just outside of caliber? No optic cut. Not only that, but Not necessary. there might've been a German and a American war where <laughs> one of these made it out surely sure. well twice. Sure. And the other one's not so much. Yeah, and then we yeah. immediately hired as many German scientists as we could. Once Paper the war clip was is over. a whole different argument. Let's not bring <laughs> that into this. So the choice is now yours best EDC gun for a truck driver. So I am an unrepentant HK fan. Okay. Excellent. I own several. I shoot You'll them. And I well love them. Um, so I will always pick HK over the other options. That said, don't, I, don't. I'm not kicking that thing out of bed. Yeah? Yeah, it's a gorgeous pistol. Want, in but fact, I ultimately, how about you just, No, no, but you were saying ultimately... The, ultimately, the HK is my choice. Yes. But this is, I mean, come on. Great gun. Yes. I love it. It's spectacular. I love it. But, but just because it's that. not for me, doesn't mean it's not for somebody else. Correct. So you're choosing his? Absolutely. Yes. After the two world wars... It's a practical The pick. mass genocide. Some time pick. has passed since those. Yeah. No one chooses to forget, though, right? Never forget. So. Yeah, you're... you're you ever you're, worn Hugo Boss? Because they made the Nazi uniforms. They did. <laughs> Boy, you guys are so down yeah. a different path. Than well, I yeah, he doesn't know paperclip, the reference Well, he he's made. arguing I shouldn't be choosing the German gun inherently because it's German. And I'm arguing to him, if you've ever put on a piece of Hugo Boss clothing or cologne, he's inherently a hypocrite. He just may have forgotten. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Hey, right, right, as someone roll. who's ninety eight percent German, I'll take that. At the, <laughs> I'll take that abuse. At yeah. the end of the day, the answer was USP tax. It was. I appreciate the exercise, guys. Oh Thanks. yes. Category number five: the illustrious and prestigious OnlyFans model. Hey, it is a legit profession. Has been since the dawn of time. Keyword no. model. There's nothing else going on there. They just they're just professional models, dog. Uh, well, that could mean a couple different things, couldn't it? Um, she was a nurse and started Moonlight and OnlyFans. Realized that she can make more money, quit nursing, win full time. So, what's the opposite gun that an OnlyFans model should use? Opposite. It's a tough one. Probably a Glock. It's just not flashy enough. Get it flashy. <laughs> OnlyFans models are often ranked by what top percent they are. So they're either top 1%, mm -hmm. top 3%, top 10%. Mm -hmm. Your OnlyFans model, what percentage does she fall She's in? very high. She's very high. She's, um, I think she's a top 1%er, which means she's got a little bit of cash. And it means she's done some horrible things to get in that top 1%. So she's doing just fine, and she wants you to know it. And she also is never going to train with this firearm, ever. Like, she's never going to take a class. Um, and if we think about what most of these ladies have, bigger is better. I'll leave you with that. Are you subscribed to her page? Kidney, the former librarian that one day got discovered. She took off her glasses. There was a wind blew in through the front door. Her hair goes up, knock off her glasses, and she shakes it. Next thing you know, she's top 1%. Damn right I subscribe to that. We gotta go throw back to what working girls back in the Old West used to carry. Oh, okay. I could argue the OnlyFans is the new version of the ladies of the night, right? So we're gonna throw it back to uh, that. Going with a wheel gun, probably. Where'd you end up with? The largest Colt Python that they make. Okay. Bigger is better. And it's a snake gun. We know those girls are about the snake. We're gonna get the top Beretta salesman in Utah to be the judge, so see how he's feeling today. He's a little self-conscious. He didn't do his hair, so. <laughs> okay, so we're here with the top Beretta salesman in the state of Utah. Unconfirmed. 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 Unconfirmed, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Mm -hmm. But here's what we're doing. We're picking out the best EDC guns for a variety of occupations, right? Okay. This is round five. This is the big finale here. So we're picking out the best EDC guns for a... Does the term OF mean anything to you? Oh, uh, maybe? Never heard of it. Yeah. So an OF model is who we're picking out an EDC gun for. Uh -huh. What she would use as her EDC gun. Am okay. I going first or you going first? Go ahead. So let me tell you about, what would her name be? Natalia, okay? Let me tell you about Natalia, okay? She's, she's a little Brazilian, you know, a little South American action going on. Um, she used to be a librarian, and one day she kind of got discovered. Everyone was like, it turns out the librarian's really hot, right? So she's like, am I hot? And everyone's like, yeah, you're really fucking hot, Natalia. So, um, so she discovers a platform called OF, right? Family-friendly website yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. starts going down that path and she goes far down that path so far in fact she becomes the top one percent of creators on said website okay so that means she's making a lot of money she's not particularly educated um everything is bigger is better you know what i'm, you know what I'm saying so like <laughs> do you even know what that reference was <laughs> You know what a female is? <laughs> Bigger and better, yeah. <laughs> you know, and so she's also a little afraid. Maybe some of these guys, what if they try to find me? I need to intimidate them away. The EDC gun Natalia has picked is a Colt Anaconda, right? If they want to come mess with her, she's going to do this, right? So this shoots a round called, you like big bullets, right? Sure. 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum would put down Look at the size of the hole. Look at the size of the holes in the cylinder, everyone. Absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So if someone breaks in, she's gonna go to the door and she's gonna be like, who's there? And it's gonna be like, it's Peter, I'm one of your subscribers. And she's gonna be like, not today, Peter. And she's just gonna, you know, she's gonna lay it down. Unfortunately, she's gonna lose that monthly subscription, but she'll make it up on Peter 2.0. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, she doesn't know a lot. She doesn't really know her ass from her face. And she picks a Colt Anaconda. 
For her in her little brain, this was the right move. Okay. This is the best EDC gun that Natalia from OF can have. See, and I think if you're gonna be the top 1%, you gotta take that into consideration. That means she's not wearing a lot of clothes. Ooh. Right, you to sure. get to that one percent, yeah. but still needs to carry a firearm. Hmm. Bigger isn't always better. Sometimes you need something a little smaller, more concealable, can fit in smaller, tighter, sometimes looser areas. Right. So the only option is a twenty-two Magnum <laughs> revolver. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Single action. Again, she's not wearing any clothes. This could. I mean, you could tuck it under an armpit. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got. She's well endowed from what we heard. She'd tuck it under. You, you see where I'm going with this, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yep. So this fits in small places. Sure. All right. She needs to be able to carry Such a weak everywhere argument. she goes. This, Such my friend, argument. look at, I mean, nice finish, not sharp edges. Can I ask you one follow-up question? Okay. Do you think she trains very often? She doesn't have time for Personally, training. Personally, she's always she working. Very often? Yeah, does she go to the range very she's often? She's always working. Oh, so. I mean, I don't think she would. It. Could go in right. the armpit. So she's got to remember to cock the damn thing. No pun intended, everyone. But like, she's got to remember. She she remembers she, cock a lot. She's so got to pull back to cock hammer. things a lot. So not you're saying not going to be a problem. No, because it's knows like how to do it. I mean, it's like a natural motion for her. <laughs> see, and this like these kind of date back to the original working girls back in the old west. They mm. would carry these in case John didn't pay up. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and he's helping my case here because he's coming to see the light. But you know what? We're not in. The so. 1800s. No. We're but if she goes 1800s. on an 1800s photo shoot, she prepared. Okay. Oh, I mean, he helped my case. Interesting takes. Yeah. I think that the choice is pretty best clear EDC here. Gun for an OF. There's arguments I didn't make about that because I simply can't. Because people watch this show with their family, but some people would say, what's the barrel length on that? I don't know. Eight inches. What could you do with that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going there. What's the setup to this story? I'm just saying there's a lot of multi purposes that you could use an eight inch anaconda. This looks like snag hazard <laughs> over snag hazard <laughs> and will destroy some sort of pocket or holster. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The liner might get a little beat up. This rounded, smooth, you throw a little lube on there. Because you're going to- Seal, seal, okay. CLP, see? You get, you get where I'm going with this. Last thing I'd say, she's top 1%. She don't give a shit. She makes it happen. She makes it happen. Liam, this is a very real choice you have to make. You understand this is though. difficult, too. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I want to go both ways, but... She does sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Continue. I think, all said and done, Natalia's going to take home the 44 bag. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, it's though. It's big and over the top, just like she is. Exactly. It's Bigger flashy. is better. I'm sorry. It's all right, man. Bigger is better. All right. Always is. It's the American way, or Brazilian way, in her, in her case. It's smooth. She's Brazilian with a Russian name. It's high polished. Let's not forget this scenario. She's an inter international, international woman. That right, does it, everyone. That's a 4-1. That's a damn near clean sleep. Dang. Clean sweep today, almost. 4 one 4-1. Four, one. Four, one. We ask a lot of our guests this. You're a repeat guest at this point. Who's likely, more likely to go to hell, me or Chris? You. <laughs> Why? I still win. For Even when reason. I lost, I still won. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Appreciate that. It's so rude. You're, you're more vulgar. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, but that can debatable. be a compliment. That can <laughs> be a compliment in some circles. <laughs>